It's never a good day when you're starting the video with a socket wrench in your hands and not a fishing rod. What is cranking wieners? Welcome back to the channel. Today's starting off pretty interesting, as you may be able to tell. The old Lexus, old Lexus 470, has been sitting in the warehouse for probably two months since I've been up in Maine. I had to take a little trip down to Texas for a few days just to kind of switch things up. I'm actually gonna be fishing with this dude right here, Grant Langmore. You guys have probably seen a lot of my older videos. We haven't fished in what, two years? Is that what we decided? Oh. Yeah, it's been almost like three years since we've linked up and fished. He's from Austin. I live primarily in the DFW area, but I was like, hey, I got a few days to fish if you want to come through. So we drove up uh, last night and we came to the warehouse to try to get this thing started and it wouldn't start. The battery completely died. I, I should have put on a trickle charge. I just didn't think a, a newer battery like that would, would get cashed so easily. So this morning we woke up at like 6 a.m. to go to Walmart, buy a new battery, and now she is up and freaking running. We're gonna put the brand new lawn, which by the way, I've not even caught a fish on yet. We're gonna break the ice. Oh, we are gonna break some serious ice today on some lakes I've never really fished before. There's two lakes of mine I wanna fish. It's hot, it's humid, it's nasty in Texas, so I figured we'd go find some shallow water, cool water grass. So uh, stick with us, stay tuned, and let's get them. I've only used this boat, this new lawn, once, and I had to go back up to Maine to go chase after some smallies and stripers, but it's getting to be close to fall up here in Texas, so this thing's gonna see a lot of fishing time. We just got out of the water right now. The drink is looking good, it's a little dirty. It's a bit windy, as you can probably hear, but yeah, we're just gonna see if we can crank them today. Got two guys very, very anxious to catch some fish. See if we can get out of this wind. I'm pumped, let's go get them. Got him. That's a good fish. Is he off? Oh, Bro, that was a fing good one. Oh. oh my god, that was a good fish, bro. <laughs> Holy that's good though, man. And I just birds nest too. That's great. You lost a fish and I just got a nest. Sweet. Honestly, I can't blame you. We haven't gotten a bite in a good 24 hours. Yeah, dude, that was not expect I wasn't even looking. You just said, oh. I for real thought you spooked a turtle at first and I didn't see your frog and I was like, oh shh. I had him, dude. I had him. Well, that was our first bite in what? Literally 24 hours. It's just cool to go to a lake where there's actually fish. Uh, Grant's throwing the filthy frog, just an all black, midnight color. And that looked like a good one. I, I mean, it, it read the eat me. Yeah, it read the eat me instructions on top. That was crazy. I was like in disbelief that you even had a fish. I was like, yeah. there's no way. <laughs> no, there's no way that's actually a bass. Just because we, you were the one who even called it out. Well, I was hesitant to even say anything because I'm like, there's no way we're actually going to get a bite today, just because we've had such a sh struggle the past uh, past like three times we've been out in one day. You guys don't understand. This is the fourth lake we fished today, and it's just not been easy. I haven't fished in DFW in a minute, and you know, Grant never really fishes up here. He's mostly fishing in Central Texas, so we're definitely at a disadvantage. But I do think after seeing that, we can get some some fish in the boat, no doubt. I'm throwing a little three eighths. Saucy swimmer, just kind of rolling it over this grass. And then Grant's focusing on the top water. Just divide and conquer, that's the plan for today. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, there's one. Good one, dude, freaking nice one. Jesus, please stay on. I watched him go at it. He's still on. Oh, he's tight. No, he's, he's still there. Oh, he's not even that big. He's not bad. No, dude. He's not good. bad at all. Oh, Thank God. That was sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice first fish. Let's Put it there, dude. Go. Hell yeah, man. There we have it. Finally, the skunk is out of the boat. My first ever fish on the brand new lawn. It's not a bad one. Maybe <laughs> high twos. Yeah, three. Really skinny. Probably yeah, could have been three. Skinny. Just covered in slop. That was so sick. Just yeah, threw way up it. shallow and I saw the bow, the bow wake and he just crushed it. That is what we were after. Saucy swimmer pulling through today. Just barely got that fish. Thankfully she got a little stuck in the grass. It slowed her down. All right, sister. See you later. Thank you for being the first of many. Oh man, they are aggressive in here, dude. Yeah, just dude. Like that. that <sighs> Let's go, dude. First Appreciate fish. It. Oh my God. Let's get like some more. Come on, there's gotta be fish on the docks in here right now. It's literally the only source of shade these fish have. Like, I don't get that, like, why there wouldn't be. It's 
so strange. Like up north, like that's all you fish in the summertime is either deep or docks. Yeah. It just blows my mind. There's just not that much going on. On. There you go. Oh wow. Well, got the skunk out of the boat. <laughs> You think that'd be happening more often? Hell yeah, dude. Freaking bees. <laughs> oh my mouth. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey, it's a fish. Hey, it is a fish. It's a bite. Here we go, boy. Oh, that was a bass. Chasing Shad, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude, they're schooling. Oh, I think I got one. Do you? Oh, those are large enough. Those are all large enough, dude. No way, that's sick. How the f did you not just get lit up, bro? Oh, nice. That's exactly the one. Damn it. They do that here like crazy. Oh, behind us. Yo, chill. Oh, my God. Come on. If I tie this on and get in there, I'm going to come tight. We've been having a really rough midday bite. All of a sudden, we pull up this dam. There's green bass just busting like white bass right now. Where was that? Right there? There we go. Come on, on the underside, come on. This is crazy. Over here too. These fish suck. Yeah, I pretty much agree. Uh, dude, four lakes, two days, two fish. Cumulative weight, maybe two and a half pounds. Solid. Solid. In other words, in other words, it's going good. We can't always crush them, and I'm definitely king at that. I'm, I'm uh, well, I guess we're both struggling right now, but me specifically, I've just, uh, I've just run out of ideas. I hate to say this, but I think we're gonna move spots. We're gonna change lakes. This is, uh, this just isn't it, and it should be it because it's got grass, it's deep, it's clean, it's not that warm. It's 83 degrees Fahrenheit water temp, which is like bath water, but it's not like hot shower water. This is the first time I filmed the struggle video in a long time, but. You know, I just want to keep things real and peel it back because it's not always 10 pounders in glory when, when you're fishing, even in Texas. Especially Texas. Especially Texas this time of year. But yeah, we're freaking peeling out. We're going to go grab some grub and then uh, meet you guys at spot number five. Spot number five. Oh my God. All right, new lake. Lake number five. But I just don't even want to do an intro. I have little, little to no faith. I know that's not the keep fishing, never stop mentality I should have. But after these sessions that we've that we've gone through, Grant and I've gone through, it's just hard. I'm not saying I'm not optimistic. I'm just having a hard time uh, having that mindset. So here we are, another lake. Grant is throwing a giant. Can I see that by the way? Giant swim bait. It's a hinkle. Yes, sir. Is that your go-to? Go-to all day. Go-to. Uh, unfortunately, my balls aren't that big, so I'm just gonna throw a little frog and see if maybe we can get stroked on that. Oh, there we go. Right in the trees. Love it. There's not a whole lot of this lake to fish, but I think we should just stay here until like sunset. I definitely Because it's gonna get good. It's gonna what? It's gonna get good on these yeah, banks. It's, yeah, there's no way. I just don't know how much is on this bank right this second.
Oh, not bad at all. Oh. Okay, JV. Off the drop. Just barely tapped it. Come here, dude. Yeah. We'll take it. Oh, oh dude. Low. Nice. That was right on the that was right on, the drop. right on that drop where it was like from four to nine. A bunch of bait down there. Figured we just hop a crawl along. Sure enough. Got a nice two pounder. Stout fish, really healthy. Doesn't even look like a summer bass. Five lakes. Two fish. Three now total. But this is my second. A grind. That's all I can say, man. Just a grind. Oh, it is. It's a good fish, though. And the cool thing is, is the later the day goes, the better the fishing knock-on bass should be. But yeah, that was a nice freaking wake-up call there. Oh, I needed that so bad. All right, puppy. I'm gonna send you back. Take care. Love you. Love you. Thanks, man. What? Did you get knocked? You're on. Nice. Good one? Oh, yeah. good one. Bro, good one. Oh, oh, dude, it's a good one. Oh. Do we need to get him for you? That's a nice fish. <laughs> you got him or you need to get him? I Talk to him, me. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh dude, God. it's a unit, bro. It's a unit. Let's go, dude. <laughs> that is a unit. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Oh my God, let's go. Sure you got him? I got a net too, you want me to just grab the yeah, net? No, I don't, just kidding. I took it out. Okay. Here, I'll grab him for you. Just bring him here. Oh, here, come here, sister. Got him. Ooh, let's go, dude. <laughs> it was all worth it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Damn. What, what happened there? You said, oh, like, did you get knocked? Or I, got, I got knocked and then oh. I, it, I felt like he didn't need it. Oh, that's what we want. Fat. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh, my God. I didn't think it was going to happen today, but it did. <sighs> Look at that fish. <laughs> Put her there. Thick summer bass. Thick Let's summer bass. 24 hours later, we finally got one. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Grant, always catching the bigger fish. That's not even true when we're fishing. Well, now we're fishing, but yeah. dude, like, I think your biggest fish up until this point was maybe six inches. Just send her off whenever you're ready. Yeah, it's like a really beautiful fish. Beautiful for summer. Yeah, man, that thing is fat. Let's go. Ooh, let's go, baby. Oh, my God. Man, the word of the day is struggle. It has just been so freaking hard. I've not had a day this tough in a long time. We've literally had to go like, I know I keep saying this and it sounds like a broken record, but I just can't emphasize enough how important it is just to keep on grinding. That's exactly what we did. We actually fished this dam once. You saw some bait busting and then what happened? Yeah, okay, so I pointed it out to you. Yeah. There was, it was just right here where our boat is. Yeah. So there was like all these little shad just scattered and I was like, oh, there's a fish chasing them. Threw it right there, dragged it once, felt the thump. Didn't feel like it had it, and then I saw my line move oh, out. He just Daughter. says, he just says, oh, I'm like, what? What happened? And then he sets the hook, and it's just dead weight. Actually, he caught that fish on on one of the newer sizes of the slim shake. You guys probably are super familiar with the smaller ones. It's one of my favorite finesse worms. I use it a lot up north, and even down here in the south when the bite is tough. But we've now made an eight-inch size. We have a lot of juniors. We have a lot of bigger versions of the baits we already have. So if you guys want to pick some of these up, check the link down below. It's a good summertime lure. Caught it in June bug, just straight Texas rigging with a three quarter ounce. Got the job done. It's tough out here. It is a piss grinder. And the, and the best, hopefully, is yet not to come. Or yet to come. I'm yeah. flustered. I can't even speak. Let's just keep fishing. Okay, we've made it back to the crib. It just decided to absolutely dump on us. We made it out of that lake in the nick of time, but we caught some fish. What'd it take? Two freaking days? As if I haven't said enough. Two days and five lakes. Two days, five lakes, something like three or four fish, but it was all worth it. Good linking up with Grant yet again. It's been like, I think two or three years since we last fished. So it was, uh, it was good reconnecting and then also coming tight on some bass. But uh, hey, you good? 
We chilling? What's the matter with you? Why you so mad? Why you so angry? Why you so angry? Are you gonna drive home? Yeah. Anyway, boss, thank you. Wants to see me, yeah, thank you. Thank you. you. We are definitely gonna link up again. Maybe fish his neck of the woods or wait until spring because DFW is just kind of tough for me right now. But anyway, I appreciate the view. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you wanna check out any of the baits that we caught the bass on today, I'll leave it linked down below. But uh, yeah, thanks for being here, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop. <laughs>